going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today I'm going to go and show you how to upgrade your 4K Fire Stick to the new interface on the Amazon Fire Sticks. The new interface I've showed in my videos that looks like this. This is what we'll be upgrading to. So I'll go ahead and walk you through the process. I'm on the Amazon 4K Fire Stick right now. Let's go ahead and confirm by opening up Informer. So we've confirmed the device, Amazon Fire Stick 4K first generation, released October 31st, 2018. So let me go ahead and show you the steps here. I'm gonna go back to the home screen on my Amazon Fire Stick. And then what we'll do, we'll go ahead and go to the right and we'll go to the settings. And once we're on the settings, we'll go down, we'll go to the right. We'll continue to go to the right until we see My Fire TV. Click on My Fire TV. You'll see where it says About at the very top. Click on About. And then you want to come down here and it says Check for Updates. So we're going to go ahead and check for updates. All you have to do is click this button. It'll check for updates. And then from here, you'll see a button on the right hand side that says Install Now, Install Update. So my Fire TV is already up to date as you can see and I don't have the new interface yet. That's because it was just released. All right, so as you can see here, we got a new article, new update, new Fire TV interface update begins rolling out today. So that means that you're gonna be getting a new update this weekend within the next 72 hours. You wanna go ahead and follow these steps that I'll show you in the video today to upgrade your Fire Stick. All right, so what this says here, Amazon has announced that software update, which brings the new Fire TV interface will begin rolling out to more devices starting today. Fire TV Stick 4K, both first and second gen Fire TV cubes and the third gen Fire TV are the models that will be getting the interface update over the next few days. All right, so we can look forward to the next three days that we'll be getting this update finally on our new Amazon Fire Stick 4Ks and also a few additional devices. All right, so once you do update, this is the screen that you'll be presented with. It says introducing the all new Fire TV experience. On the left hand side, it says the new main menu. Main menu lets you easily find new content, play live TV, and access your favorite apps. And then on the right hand side, we got decide what to watch with Find. Find is your new destination search and discover movies, TV shows, apps, free content, and more. Then you have down bottom left here, personalized Fire TV with up to six different profiles for personalized recommendation, watch list, viewing history, and more. All right, so we can click got it. All right, so this is the screen where you can customize your different profiles. I've set one up for me, my wife, and my kid. If you wanted to change the emoji or the avatar, you just click the pencil button right below the name. Click on the pencil. You can change what the name is called. So you can click on here. It'll allow you to update the name. We can go down the profile icon, and then this is where you would select your different profile avatar that you would like to have. And there's a cancel and save. I'll just hit cancel. So I'm in my profile now. You confirm that with the logo on the far left hand side. It's very easy to switch in between. So if you wanted to switch in between, you can just go down, click on the other account. It'll switch accounts. That way you can pick right back up where you left off. I'm gonna go back to my account now. All right, so it's very easy to get back and forth in and out of different profiles. It takes about two seconds. As far as your library goes, it's pretty good. So if you go to the home screen, that's where you'll find most of all your favorite content. Um, so if I went through here and just found certain items on the home screen and click the three lines on my remote, you can click down here, add to watch list. You click on add to watch list. And from there, that will go into my library. All right, I can also select multiple other movies. I heard this movie was good. I haven't watched it yet, so I'll add it to my watch list. Go down, add to watch list. And then if I go up here, back to my home screen, and go to the library to the left, now you see I have two new movies in there for my watch list, and I can watch them anytime I'm ready. All right, so this is the new home tab. So if I'm on the home section, if I go down here, you'll be presented with a lot of Amazon originals. So you'll find a lot of Prime video content in here. You have your recently used apps, so all the apps that you've recently opened, those will be here. You have more Prime Amazon original content. There's a Paramount Plus advertisement section for their content. This is where all the channels that you subscribe to with Amazon Prime, this is where those will show up. You have a bunch of stuff down in here, but mainly Amazon products, IMDB, Prime Video, and a few other ones down here. All right, so I'm hovered over the find section. The find section is the new search feature. So on the old 4K Fire Stick, you had the search 
magnifying glass in the top left hand corner now you just come down to find it's a full tab now and you find search you can click on search and you get the same additional keypad that you would use to search for multiple different items so in here we have featured apps or spotlight so you got plex you got luna you got a bunch of different apps in here it's a lot easier to find what you're looking for they've seemed to manage the add a lot more apps on the screen to make it a little bit more user friendly. So I do like this new setup for the app store. Um, I think it'll definitely come in handy. All right, so we are on the live section now, live tab. If I go down here, this is where you can add multiple different services up to about 450 channels worth of free live television. You add it right here to this new section. I have another video that I've showed everyone how to do that on. Check it out. Check out this video right here and you will find what you're looking for to add to your live section. All right, so now we've made it to these new icons here, the bar at the very top. So they did go out of their way to replace the Your Apps and Games section and they replaced it with this. So you have six tiles here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can move these apps around just by clicking the three dots here. And then from here, if we wanted to click our three lines on our remote, we can click on move and then we can move news. We can move any one of these apps around. If I wanted to move sling to the back, click the three lines on your remote, click on move. You can move that to the back, click your center button to save that position. If I wanted to move IMDB, click on move and move it a couple of times to the right. Click my center button, have that save. My apps look good from here. I'm gonna click my home button. And now you have a new set of different six tiles and you can set this to anything that you want to. So let me get into the best feature that you'll find on this new interface update. And it's mainly with Alexa. So let me go ahead and walk you through the process on how this works. So we grab our Fire Stick remote. So since Amazon Alexa is more integrated now with the Amazon Fire Stick, so you can use your voice. Let me go ahead and go through a few voice commands that you can start using today, which I think is definitely the best feature that they've added to this new interface on the 4K Fire Stick. Home. Down. Four. Next. 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 Back. Three. All right, so you can kind of get a feel for what you can do with the voice command. So you can really expand on what you can say with the Amazon Alexa. You're not just drilled into certain few commands. So she does understand a little bit more. All right, so I'm back on the settings here. I just want to touch on this one more time. So basically for all the new 4K Fire Sticks, they're getting the update this weekend. So in the next 72 hours, you'll have the ability to update your device. All you have to do is go to My Fire TV, click on About, go down to install update down here. This is exactly what it normally says here. You click on install update and from there, it'll go into this whole spill of finishing updates and then it'll install a new interface for you. It should take about five minutes to install and then you'll be presented with this brand new interface that we're on today. All right, so that's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Peace.